beyond a political earthquake here. I think people couldn't quite believe the results as they were trickling in over the past few hours. Uh, we spoke with voters early this morning and they had been asking for change, but they almost weren't wanting to hope too much because this seemed like the impossible task to take out the government which has been ruling Malaysia for the past six decades and replace it with a coalition. But of course at its head, Dr Mahathir Mohamed, the man who was Prime Minister for 22 years, and now has another turn at the premiership. At the press conference that he gave just a few moments ago, there were lots of cheers, uh, lots of smiles. He talked about the fact that he wants to get sworn in as quickly as possible and that uh, one of his first orders of business will be to swear in his deputy, Dr. Wan, uh, Aziza Wan Ismail, who will become the first female deputy prime minister of Malaysia. But, of course, this is brand new. He says he's going to have to learn to do things for the first time because he he was never the head of the opposition group, but he has got experience at leading Malaysia. Jamie. This is an extraordinary co uh, comeback, isn't it, for uh, Mahathir? He's 92 years of age, I believe, and a former mentor to uh, Najib Razak. Why is he even standing for election? He should be putting his feet up, shouldn't he? I think if you've ever come face to face with Dr. Mahathir, you would know that he is not somebody who puts his feet up. He is somebody who is uh, very much uh, mentally very aware, physically still in fairly good shape, and somebody who wants to make sure that his political legacy is the one that he wants. He did help put Najib into the role of prime ministership, but over the last few years, corruption uh, allegations surrounding Najib Razak, particularly around the state fund 1MDB, uh, have come to haunt Dr. Dr. Mahathir and his decision to re-enter politics to form a new party and to also become the chairman of the opposition grouping Pakatan Harapan, which will now be the governing coalition in Malaysia, was about wanting to write that part of his own political story. I, I guess that the expectation now from the people who voted for him will be absolutely enormous and I guess he will need to deliver. Absolutely. I think this is something that people will wake up to in the early hours of this morning, um, Malaysian time, and, uh, and have a big hope. They want change. Uh, Dr. Mahati has said that that is something that he will be bringing in, but these are untested waters that we are in. And to talk more about that, I'd like to bring in Ibrahim Sufian, who is a member of the Merdeka Centre, one of the polling, main polling agencies here and, uh, and think tanks in the country. Ibrahim, I spoke with you just a few days ago and you said that it would be a Barisan national government once again. What happened? Well, I mean, what we saw happen a few hours ago is that many voters, I think, decided that they no longer wanted to be held back by identity politics, by racial politics that has underpinned Malaysian politics for the last 60 years and that the pressing issues of cost of living, the unhappiness over the conduct of government, particularly with respect to the issue of corruption and also the imbalance of development between East and West Malaysia, I think has brought the majority of the people together to vote in one direction and voted in this coalition led by Dr. Mahathir. So that upended a lot of the analysis we had before. We saw a trend moving away from the ruling party, but we couldn't be certain that it was going to be that solid and this sizable. And it has been sizable. Seats which have belonged to Barisan Nacional, to UMNO, which was the, is the linchpin party of, the, uh, of Barisan Nacional, fell today. Yes, I mean, it is unprecedented and the enormity of the victory enjoyed by the uh, coalition of Pakatan Harapan is, is uh, enormous because we saw seats that have never been won by the opposition since the country gained independence in 19, 1957 uh, were lost and lost by huge uh, majorities uh, in this election. And I think the other uh, unprecedented fact is that it is not just a straight fight election, but there were many mu other parties contesting this. And, and one of the things that we saw was uh, it was not only the minorities, but also the majority Muslim population uh, voting Barisan National out. Of course, this is the first time in 61 years that there will be a new governing coalition in Malaysia. There is no precedent for this. Where does the country 
where do the politicians go from here? Well, I think immediately, I think the attention is going to be on what happens over the next few hours. Will the uh, you know previous government concede defeat and then uh, allow for a smooth and orderly transition of power? And then what will the incoming administration uh, you know, see as its first things, list of things to do over the next few days. Uh, because not only is this unprecedented, uh, many of the people that are going to form this new administration are completely inexperienced in uh, running government.